Hi there, I'm Yvonne and thank you for tuning in. So this little clip is just uh, where we're going to address just an aspect of the mental game of tennis players. So we're going to talk about nerves and how we can manage them. So this is one of the most common challenges that we have for the mind um, as tennis players. You might have felt before, you know, feeling nervous leading up to a particular match or directly before you go on court, feeling that knot in your stomach or even when you're playing, um, being in a match and, you know, thinking, oh, if only I can hold here, you start to feel the nervous tension arising in the body or, you know, if I can just win this point, I'll win the set. So if you find that you're nervous, that's okay. It means that you care. Your body is getting ready to perform. The top players all get nervous and they're just really good at managing it. So it's important to familiarize yourself with what parts of your body and your whole makeup are affected when you'd get nervous. So, you know, sometimes people can feel it in the tummy. They can feel, you know, anywhere from like little butterflies in the tummy to feeling like they want to throw up. Um, muscles can get tense. You can feel it in your shoulders, maybe the hand tightens up or even the feet stop moving. Your breath can become very quick and it can be shallow. So you're not breathing fully and deeply. Um, and then the mind, the mind can be thinking or worrying about the future, perhaps, or thinking about, oh, the last time I played this player and uh, just not being focused on the present. So when the thoughts aren't in the present moment, how can we get it back? How can we get them back to the present moment so that we're not worrying about what might happen in the future? So meditation can help. There's a few breathing practices that we can do here, but the one we're going to focus on today is what we call the, well, we can call it the long exhale meditation. So this is just essentially where we lengthen out the exhale longer than the inhale. And this activates what we call the parasympathetic nervous system, or it um, just helps calm the nervous system down. So once we have a calmer nervous system, the, the, with the breath being deeper and fuller, then the mind starts to calm down, the body starts to relax, and then you can start making um, better decisions on court and you can play with more freedom. And you'll be able to just take your focus back to your goal. Meditation is like we train the mind to have one-pointed focus. So that's what we'll be doing now in this breathing meditation. So what I want you to do is get a seated position. So you can sit like I am here cross-legged or uh, sitting up on a chair is fine. Or if you like, you can lie down. So once you get yourself set up, just relax the arms down, relax the hands down. You can maybe take your gaze downwards towards the floor or close down the eyes. Relax the shoulders, so just releasing tension from the shoulders, away from the ears. And just feel the base of your body resting. So down to the floor beneath you. Relax the muscles of the face. Unhinge the jaw. And soften around the eyes. And start to bring your attention inwards. So just noticing your body. And become aware of your breath. Just noticing the rhythm of your breath. So not changing anything in particular with the breath. Just let it be as it is. Breathing in your own way. And 
You can take your hand onto your tummy if you like. And just noticing the gentle outward and inward movement as you breathe. We're going to begin counting the breath now. So what I mean by this is we'll count the length of the inhale and the length of the exhale. And we're going to try to keep them even for the moment. So for example, you might breathe in to the count of four and breathe out to the count of four. Just trying that for a few more rounds. Just going with a nice even breath and even rhythm. On this next breath, I want you to try lengthen out the exhale. So if you're breathing in for four, then breathing out for maybe seven or eight. So the exhale is longer than the inhale. And just it's important here not to force it, not to create tension while we're doing this breathing exercise. Remain relaxed. So after this next round of breath, you can return to the even breathing. So inhaling for four and exhaling for four. Just feeling the breath at the tummy. After this next round of breath, let go of the counting. Take a moment to notice how you feel. How you feel in the body and how you feel in the mind. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. So well done. That's just a little exercise that if you do often off court, It's going to help you when you go into the stressful environment of competition and being on court and feeling nervous. This type of breath you can do in between points, just one or two rounds of it, just making sure you're exhaling longer than your inhale. You could do it at the change of ends. You can do it right before you go on court. So I hope that helps. And Thank you very much for tuning in. You can practice this again and again, and hopefully it'll help you manage your nerves better. If you'd like to find out more info on meditations that can help your mental game, I have a course called Be Present, Compete, 
and you will be able to find it at yvonnedoyle.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.